CERN is the largest research center for particle physics in the world. So what we do is something quite unique. We collide particles at very high energies to recreate the universe like it was just a fraction of a second after the Big Bang. And by doing so, we see particles and things that we wouldn't see otherwise. And one example of this is the Higgs boson that was found here a couple of years ago. So the instruments required to do this, the scientific instruments we call particle accelerators. And the particle accelerator we have at CERN right now is the Large Hadron Collider. It's the largest and most complex machine ever built by mankind. It consists of something like 100 million components put together underground here outside Geneva in Switzerland. At CERN we use INFOR-LN and INFOR-EAN. So we use LN for managing the supply chain and everything linked to purchasing and our central stores for managing materials. And then we use INFOR-EAM for managing the materials and the assets while they are being put into operation, production and for the maintenance. What we've done, we've integrated uh, INFOR-EAM with our other tools to be able to quickly fish out information about previous maintenance, previous problems, previous solutions to problems. Before we had, had integrated INFOR-EAM with the other tools, we spent a lot more time looking up information from one system to another. Integrating the two has helped us a lot. So one, someone that has to repair or work with this equipment has, can have in the same system all the data related to that equipment without searching in different places. We can do this with no modifications of the software. We can do it with basic support configuration, which means that we have no problems with upgrades and so on. Both the, the physics research at CERN and the engineering work is really, really complicated. And that's why we don't need complicated IT tools on top of all this. We need to have things that are capable but not complex. It has to be an interface uh, simple enough so that uh, everybody without any training would be able to use it. We do very specialized work, so we spend some time and effort to create our own user interfaces that look up maintenance history and create corrective maintenance work order. I'm working now in a project called TREK, and this is a, a project to be able to trace and to track all the measurements done of equipment that gets out of the accelerator's tunnel. The radio protection team has a uh, subcontractor, so they hire people to do those measurements. And now the time they is, that they spend is much less because they know exactly what they have to measure and where to go. So they have reduced the amount of people they need to accomplish the same amount of work. That is why we closely follow what's happening now with Info and the Hook and Loop team with a clear work effort because that's exactly going in that direction now. Info is also changing, going towards something which is more user-friendly, and that's exactly the direction we are taking at CERN as well.